What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. TGS here. <clears throat> also known as Tech Gun Sports Lover. Appreciate you guys joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be doing a simple unboxing. This is a knife made by Buck Knives. This is the 110 Folding Hunter. Now this is not a tactical knife. This is more or less a camp knife or a hunting knife. So keep that in mind before you go out and spend your money on this. Now the regular price of these can run you anywhere between 40, actually I'll say about 30 to $50. I picked it up at Academy Sport for $20. I have no worries about this performing in the field. I know it's gonna be quality. This company has been around since uh, 1902. So their knives have been proven in the field. So let's go ahead and open it. Now it does come with a uh, sheath and I believe the sheath is leather. I'm gonna be reading a little bit off the box because to be quite honest with you, uh, when I saw this, it was such a good deal that I went ahead and grabbed it. I didn't do any kind of research on it. I don't know of any reviews on it or anything like that. So let's grab this out here. Okay, we'll put the knife here for now. Let me go ahead and get the sheath out. Okay, so there's the sheath. Do have a uh, warranty card. Now these are these pretty much are guaranteed for life. So if you have an issue, you can send it back to Buck Knives. They're going to repair it and uh, send it back to you. That's one thing that I really like about the company, and I also like this about the company. Probably made in the USA. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, We'll open this up and then I'll read off a few of the specs. Oh man, that's really, really a nice looking knife. So the uh, blade is three and three fourths inches. Um, you got 420HC steel. The length is four and seven eighths inches. Now that's uh, closed. The weight is 7.2 ounces. Now, the handle, give you a really good close look at the handle. This is Makassar Ebony Diamond Wood with Brass Bolsters. So this portion right here and that portion, those are both brass. Now again, this is uh, pretty much guaranteed for life. What I mean by that is if you have an issue, then they're going to take care of it. Very, very nice looking blade. Very sharp. Yeah, pretty much just cuts, cuts my hair right off my arm. See that? Okay, so it is the lockback style, so you have to push the back in order to retract it back into the handle. It is a little bit stiff right now because it's new. So you just have to keep working that handle and eventually it's gonna loosen up to where it opens and closes a little bit fast. Now you don't have any kind of thumb studs on this. Um, like I said, it's not a tactical knife. So you do have a little groove here. Just take your fingernail and pop it out. So those are the specs of this, uh, this buck knife. Let's take a look at the sheath. Now the sheath, I believe it's a, it's a, it's a leather sheath. Do have this snap here in the front. Nice positive click. Once you put the knife in, it's not going anywhere. anywhere. <clears throat> and on the back, you can run your belt through this little loop and attach it to your belt. So it's really uh, nice that they actually included this now one thing I did notice is kind of funny it says sheath made in Mexico so I'm assuming that 
the knife was made here in the United States and that just this sheath was made in Mexico. So let's go ahead and close this, put it into the sheath, see how everything fits and looks. Okay, so there you go. So guys, what I'm going to do is, uh, at the end of next month, I'll be going to a field training exercise for about a day and a half, two days. I'm going to take this out and do some extensive uh, work with it some extensive testing now I'm not gonna make a follow-up video unless I have some issues because I already own about 20 or so buck knives and I haven't had a single issue with uh, with any of their knives so that's uh, pretty much it guys again this is the 110 folding hunter you got 420 HC cryogenic heat treated stainless steel of course it's the lockback design for safe use and that's pretty much it, guys. I appreciate you joining me. If you guys got any questions about this knife, please let me know. Down below, I'll include a link to uh, the Buck Knives website. Take care, guys.